Hi, I'm Haley Marie Norman, and I'm kinky when wet. All right. Hi, welcome to Kinky When Wet. I am Nappy Headed Black Girl. I'm here with a very special guest today. Um, you may have seen her in so many different places. She's been in print ads, um, on TV shows. She's done some movies. You may also recognize her from a little show called Deal or No Deal. This is <laughs> briefcase number 25. Yeah. And if you watch one of my favorite game shows, uh, one of my t favorite TV shows, The Game, you may have seen her hugged up on Leak. <laughs> so and right now you can catch her on the hot new YouTube series called Hello Cupid. So please help me welcome, this is Haley Marie Norman. Hey guys. Hi Kate. <laughs> and just to let you know, she looks even better in person than she does on TV. Oh, you're so sweet. I appreciate that. So just let me tell you that your hair is like, her hair is like the stuff that dreams are made of. It's just, it's beautiful. So I want to ask you, have you always been natural? Yeah, I've been natural my whole life. And it wasn't easy, you know, um, but I guess now I can say luckily, uh, but back then I hated my parents for it, but they always encouraged me to like keep my hair natural. And by encourage, I mean they were just like, we're not taking you to straighten your hair. So I kind of had no choice growing up but to wear my hair natural. And then as I got older, I came um, more into it and owning it. And I think it was really my like experience on Deal or No Deal that um, really made me start loving my hair because before I was on that show, I was really expecting the producers, you know, when I knew that I was really close to being chosen as one of the girls on it, I thought that the producers were going to come to me and be like, but can you straighten your hair? Can you whatever? And I asked them about it, actually, and they were like, no, we love your hair. Why Why would you straighten it? And I was like, awesome. okay, yeah. And then America res like responded and I started getting like just letters from like a ton of people and, and I realized that you know, I wanted to be a voice for for, um, for for black women to know that we don't have to like change who we are and what we look like naturally to fit into like society's ideals of like what's beautiful. So now I make it a point like to not straighten my hair because I'm like, That's I'm awesome. sending a message. And that was my next question. Have you ever had any issues with any gigs or any instances where they want you to straighten or do you wear like wigs and stuff when you go to auditions or do you just, are you curly all the time? I'm curly all the time. Um, cool. If there was a role, you know, um, that I really wanted to play, and for whatever reason, and not and not a reason that's like, well, she's a lawyer, so of course she would have straight yeah. hair. Because to me, I'm like, um, <laughs> what your hair looks like has nothing to do with like right. your intelligence or what you're capable of. But if there was, um, a, you know, maybe uh, I, I I don't even know what the reason would be. But if for some, oh, I was going to be playing. Um, I I was offered a role in a film that was for like a superhero that was based on a comic book and so that character in the comic book had straight hair and so for that I was like prepared to like wear a wig or whatever but for the most part if they're not willing to work with my hair a lot of times I just tell them that I that I'm not willing to do it oh, wow. yeah. She's got <laughs> there was actually a really popular um, like black men's magazine that asked me to be in their magazine and I said yes and then they asked, then they told me that they wanted me to, to wear a wig or straighten my hair, and I was like, well, no, I'm like, prom I'm promoting myself, I'm not showing this, like, right. I'm not going to change who I am. And then they were like, what about just a clip and ponytail? And I was like, no. <laughs> so I, yeah, I was like, no. But, um, yeah, but we ended up doing it with my hair, and, the, and you know, and, and the photos turned out great. Um, but, of course, along the way, there are definitely, you know, eight people who have told me, like, you'd go so much further if you straighten yeah. your hair, you'd whatever if you straighten your hair. And I, and I just, um, sometimes, it, it, you know, it'll bum me out, it'll like get to me for a couple minutes, but then I'll be like, this is who I am, you know? So tell us how you maintain all of this fabulousness. Do you have any particular products that you swear by? Do you have a certain routine? I take a lot of, like, I use and take a lot of, like, natural things to do it. Because I sort of feel sometimes that people think, you know, that they have to put something like on their hair to make it grow and uh, in a lot of ways you do but your hair like grows from your head so I think a lot of like the food that you're ingesting yeah. and stuff like and you know that's what is is really doing it so um, I use a lot of coconut oil mm. yeah okay. I add it to my food but I also put it in my hair oh wow you yeah. Eat it. Oh. yeah 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 I like cook with it I put it in oatmeal um, I make like smoothies, I put, I put it in there, and I put a, um, like avocado, things like that, 
like I said, I try to use a lot of natural things because once you start looking at like the bottles of what's on this hair stuff, there's just like, there's so many chemicals and, yeah. and things that I'm like, this is not helping my hair grow. Um, but I do love when I wash. Mm, yeah, I okay. do love when. I think that it's great. And I also love um, Kinky Curly. How often do you wash your hair? I wash it like every three or four days. When I tie it up to take a shower, I don't put a shower cap on because I let some yeah. of the moisture from the water like get in there. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put, the when I get out, I'll put the Kinky Curly in. I'll like divide up my hair, put the Kinky Curly in, put in a little bit of coconut oil, and then diffuse it. All right, now tell us how you got into acting. Have you always wanted to be an actress, or is it something that just came along as you grew older? Um, no, acting is the only thing that I've ever wow. remember wanting to do. That's cool. Yeah, and it had no influence from my parents or anything. It's just, it's just what I wanted to do, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a life that is. I think a lot harder than most people would realize and it takes a lot of dedication yes. but along the way I was always like well this is no this is what I'm this is what I'm doing this is what I'm here to do and I've just continued to stick with it that this is the career I chose it's too late now it's working you've, uh, you've <laughs> you're everywhere you're everywhere Thank tell you. us about um, your latest project so first let's talk about you said you're going to be in some TV shows the glaze bones coming up tell us a little about a little bit about that and when we can catch your episodes Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I shot just this past um, month, so March. Mm -hmm. I shot, um, I was in Florida for two weeks shooting the a &E show, The Glades, which that was really fun for me because my character is like just a total like badass in it. Like she awesome. is a tough chick. I, I had like <laughs> three hours of makeup with fake tattoos wow. and like piercings. So that was a different, you know, very different type of role for me to play and that was really fun. And then I also um, shot Bones, mm -hmm. which uh, was also really cool. You know, that show's been on the air forever. Yeah. And then I'm also uh, doing uh, my web series, Hello Keep of It. Of course. So, Hello Keep It. Hello <laughs> Keep It is on Black and Sexy TV on YouTube. Um, if you haven't checked it out, you need to check it out now. It's an awesome show. Um, beautiful ladies, good storyline. Um, tell us a little bit about it and more about your character. Okay, okay, cool. Um, yeah, what I like about working with a web series is that you get the instant user feed like audience yes. feedback and this is my first time really venturing into the web world like I was so focused on film and TV and um, it, this it feels like such a collaborative effort between not only the people that are involved in the web series but then again you know the audience at home because we will take their suggestions and feedback and stuff into consideration. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and what I've been having a lot of fun with on this one is, um, you know, the first two episodes were scripted, but then after that we ended up uh, improvising it. So somebody will come up with like the arc of the story and then be mm -hmm. like, so in this scene, this, like this is kind of where we want to end up in this scene, now go. And we come up with all of our own lines. So I play a character named Robin, mm -hmm. who's sort of like the odd couple, we're sort of like the odd couple yes. with, um, yeah, my, uh, <laughs> my, my co-star, Ashley Blaine Featherson, who is a little bit more like conservative. Yes. And yeah, and so I play the one that's a little bit more um, like free and, and I guess, I don't want to say wild, but a little bit more a little bit more of like a free spirit and and just definitely less conservative and I told them that I wanted to make sure that we stayed true to like the integrity of the character and I didn't want her to go down the path of like being a, a you know a dumb girl or whatever I wanted to make sure that the storyline stays focused on the fact that we're doing this social experiment about changing your profile photo you know from someone of like darker skin to lighter skin right. and to see what the response was um, but that we but that we both come off as like in, intelligent women and um, I just think that they're great at black and sexy TV they're they're really cool they're great to work with um, and they really do have like everyone's you know best interests at heart you definitely need to check out 
uh, Black and Sexy TV. I'll put the link down below. You're not too far behind yet, so catch up. The show is every other Sunday. Every other Sunday, yeah. Okay, every other Sunday, so make sure you check it out. Now, before I let you go, I just want to ask you, since you've been natural all your life, do you have any advice for maybe someone who's thinking about going natural or just, you know, did the big top and they don't know what to do? Do you have any words of encouragement or maybe some advice for them? I guess I, the biggest thing I would say is, like, kudos to you. Yes. Don't get discouraged. You know, I feel like, uh, yeah, don't get discouraged and maybe don't listen to people who tell you, like, you know, don't do yeah. it or like, oh, but your hair so. was so straight. Yeah. yeah. If there's like some guy out there who's like, you know, because I've had that too before, like, you know, where guys, yeah, or guys, yeah, guys would be like, oh, straight hair is so, you know, straight hair is so sexy. Like, just get them out of your life. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would just say keep, you know, keep going for it. And again, I would really stress um, your diet has a lot to do with it and to use um, natural products. But mostly, I would just want to, um, like, hug you more than anything and tell you that I'm so excited. I get so excited oh, when we're going natural. Yeah, I think that it's so cool. I just think that, you know, we're all in this together, changing society. Like, I, you know, I hope that one day it won't be the standard that we have to be... Yep you know, putting chemicals and stuff into, like, four-year-olds' hair and their system and stuff because it's what the norm is, you know? So I think that you're, you know, you're making a strong impact on changing the way things are, and I think that that is a beautiful thing. Hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Haley Marie Norman. Um, I'll put all of her links down below. You can keep up with her and her latest projects on HaleyMarieNorman.com. Yes. And, of course, you can check her out every other Sunday on Black and Sexy TV on Hello Cupid. So, thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time on Kinky and Wet. Bye. Bye. Nappy-headed black girl, where all hair is good hair.